Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Jen and today I thought I would share with you just what I have purchased for my family for Valentine's Day this year. I wanted to at least get one Valentine's related video out to you guys this week. It's been really busy here um, with my family. We've just been like, everybody's been getting sick and we've had a ton of snow days and we've been traveling, so it, there's just been like a lot going on, but I really wanted to get at least one Valentine related video out to you guys, so I thought I would share with you what I have uh, purchased for every one of my family for Valentine's Day. So let's get started. I'll start with my youngest daughter, Madison, because I always have a tendency to purchase the most for her because she is little and things are just less expensive when you're little. So um, the one thing that I picked up for her that I thought was really cute, and I purchased this from a candy shop on our most recent trip to the Pocono Mountains. We went to the outlets and there was this really cute candy shop. And I got this adorable um, little emoji chocolate lollipop. And along with this big Beanie Boo, she really likes these little Beanie Boo guys. And this is a pink penguin. She's really been into penguins lately for some reason. So I thought this was very appropriate. And to go along with that, I also picked her up this Attacky the Penguin book. This is something that she really wanted. Um, they recently read it in class and they had library day last week and she wasn't able to take it out because I guess she just wasn't quick enough. Somebody had already gotten to it. So I went right to Amazon and I ordered this for her for like $4 maybe. <laughs> and I just know she'll be really excited to get it because it is something that they've been reading in school. And I always like to promote reading if they're excited about a book. I think they should definitely add it to their library. And I found this at Walmart and Target had it as well. It's really cute. It's another little, uh, like a Beanie Boo type of Valentine heart. It has this really, really soft fur. It's so soft um, on the front, on the lid. And then inside the candy is kind of like fruit snack type of candy. So I'll probably fill it with other things as well. Maybe I'll throw in like some Hershey Kisses or some Dove chocolate, um, something like that. But I just thought having these two together would be really cute and she would really enjoy that so that is um, part of her gift she has a couple of more little things um, I picked these up from forever 21 and it's just like little hair ties but they have little hearts on them so on Valentine's Day she can wear that and I just think it'll look really cute she wears her hair up a lot so that'll be fun to have and Madison is really into makeup. She loves playing with makeup all the time. And I found this also at Forever 21 and it's just this eye glitter and it has all these little hearts and a little heart on top. And I just thought it was like very Valentine-y. So I thought it'd be cute to go along with her little assortment of gifts here. And then for my oldest daughter, I got her this really beautiful velvet heart. It's um, Russell Stover candies. And I just, I basically go for like the packaging. If it's really pretty packaging, um, I'm more drawn to it than the candy itself. Just because I remember when I was little and my dad brought me home Valentine's, I feel like back then the packaging was even more elaborate and there were always like these big plastic flowers on it. And um, I don't know, maybe it's a little bit gaudy, but I absolutely loved it. And I wish they still made boxes like that. So I'm always looking for something rather fancy. And I just thought this velvet was really, really pretty. And I think that she will like it. And then to go along with that, I picked her up this um, rose mask sheet, like a face mask. And then also this dainty rose lip mask. So she's always into doing masks and things. And I thought because it's like rose scented that just made it more appropriate for Valentine's Day. Also recently I went to Marshall's. I actually have a Marshall's haul coming up tomorrow, I believe. Um, and I found a really great deal on Kate Spade phone cases. I have wanted a Kate Spade phone case for a really long time, but they are very pricey and I never bought one before, but I did find a really great deal. And of course, when my daughter saw them, she was really envious and wanted one of her own. So I thought she would love this. I found this on Amazon and it really wasn't too much. I, I typically spend about $20, $25 on their Valentine's gifts. Um, this was, I believe around 20-ish. Um, from Amazon so it wasn't too bad and it's really pretty it just has like all of these 
stripes and it has like the pink and the gold and I just thought it was really nice and I think she really will enjoy this. And that is it for my oldest daughter, Emily, who is 15, by the way. Um, I don't even remember if I told you. If you're not familiar, my daughter, Madison, is seven years old. My daughter, Emily, is 15, and my son, Patrick, is 12. And the older they get, it's kind of like the less they get because things just tend to be more pricey as they get older. So that's why it seems like Madison always gets so much stuff, but it's because everything is so inexpensive. And I'm sure that my daughter will be more than satisfied with this phone case. <laughs> and then for my son, if you watched my previous Walmart haul, you already know about this ginormous Hershey bar. <laughs> this is like a huge, Hershey bar. It is so cool. I think he's gonna love it. Um, he got something like this back a while ago when we went to Hershey Park and it was like the biggest deal in the world to him to have this really really big Hershey bar. So let me just see if you can see the whole thing here. Yeah that's it. It is so big. <laughs> And I think he's going to really be happy with this. Like, this is the perfect boy gift. I, I think he's going to be psyched to get this. And that is the only thing that he got because this is like a $20 Hershey bar. So he's going to be super happy with it. And then for my husband, um, typically what we do is we will go out to dinner on Valentine's Day with the kids. So usually we'll just like go out for pizza. Our local pizzeria does like a big heart shaped pizza on Valentine's Day. And we have kind of made a tradition of going there as a family on Valentine's Day and just going out for pizza to be together as a family. I just like to be with my kids on Valentine's Day um, rather than doing a date night. I prefer to do the date night like on the weekend with just me and my husband like right after Valentine's Day. So that is what we're doing. That is our gift to each other just to have a nice dinner out. But I'll usually pick up something small just to give him anyway. So I picked up these mini uh, Reese's peanut butter cups. These are his favorite candy. And then I also got him like a jumbo peanut butter heart to go along with it. So that is really the only thing that I have purchased for him. Of course, I also did get cards for everyone. Um, I like to find really pretty and fancy Valentine's Day cards as well. And I only purchased some of those. I'm not even done getting all of my Valentine's Day cards yet. But that is everything that I have purchased for my family for Valentine's Day. Like I said, I did just want to at least get one Valentine related video out to you guys this week. And I hope that this was enjoyable for you, maybe helpful in some way. I know it's all pretty basic stuff. <laughs> it's like chocolate and stuffed animals and, you know, very uh, basic things that you would get, but I thought it'd be fun to share anyway. I hope you're all having a great February thus far. If you haven't subscribed already, please go ahead and subscribe down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and don't forget to follow me at Jen's Happy Home on Instagram. I hope you all have a great Valentine's Day. Take care. Bye.